So what you're going to be doing in this lesson is you're going to be creating a Word document with a table that has two columns. And in those columns, you're going to put the information that you've been asked to enter. So just looking around the screen, up here you've got the view menu, so you can click on view. And what I've done is I want the page width to be showing. All right, you could show one page, all right, but that makes it very small. So let's choose the page width and then let's go back to home. Now what I want to do, scroll down, so now this is the top of my document. Now we're going to put a title. So our title is going to be for this project, eSafety. But it can be any title that you're working on at the time. So let's center that now by clicking on this alignment button here. So let's center that. Now what I want to do is actually make the text a little bit bigger so it becomes a nice title. So let's highlight it so you can select it. Now once I've highlighted it, you can then change the size here if you want to. So we're going to go for like 28. The other way to do it is you could go up to this area here, which is where your font and your size is, and we can change it there as well if we want to. You can also see it's come up with a keyboard shortcut. So you could use the Control Shift P option to change the size of your text. We've added our title. I'm going to leave the font as it is. Now we're going to press the return button. Now what's happened is it's actually centralized it, but I don't want it centralized anymore. We're going to go to the left. So this button here, it says align left, which can also happen with control L. So you can click on this and then it's going to go to the left. And I also want to change the size back to a reasonable size. So let's change it to um, 14 here. So now I'm ready to insert my table. So I want to go to the insert button here and then we're going to click on table here and add a table and then we want to do two columns and let's do eight rows. So now I've got my table. What I want to do now is put a title in both of these columns. So here we're going to put fact and here we're going to put link. Now you could, if you want to, you could centralize both of these so we can highlight them. We can go back to the home and we can click on central if we want, but I actually like it to appear on the left. What you can also do now, so we can have this title row stand out, is select it by dragging the cursor over both of the cells and then go down to the bucket here click on the arrow next to the bucket and choose a color. So let's choose a light orange. Now it's important to realize that when you're choosing a color, you don't want dark text on a dark background. Equally, you don't want a light text on a light background. So I'm gonna choose the orange here, like so. And now we've got our color. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do it from up here. So I've got the buckets up here and I could do it that way as well. And you can see there, it's giving you a hint for shading. Now we've got our columns. So in our columns, we're gonna put our facts. So because this is about e-safety, we're gonna put our first fact in here. And what you need to do is fill this up with as many facts as you can from the information that you've been given. Okay, so I've got a few facts in there. So what I want to do now is I don't want these two lines here. So I can, I can click inside the cell and you can see my cursor is here. All right, and now I can right click and then I can delete cells. Now, when I click on delete cells, it's going to ask me, do I want to shift the cells to the left, up, delete the entire row or delete the entire column? Well, we want to delete the entire row. So let's click OK and let's do the same for this one. Delete, delete entire row. Now, if I do want to add a new one, what I can do is press the tab key and that is going to automatically add a row as I go to the next line. Or again, I can right click and click insert 
and then rows below and above. Okay, you can also do it from here as well. So if I click on here, you've got this option here to insert and then you've got insert above, below, left and right when it comes to the columns. So let's put a column to the left and you can see there that's put the column in. I could now, if I want to, actually move this column and make it thinner and you can see here as I move the cursor, it turns to two parallel lines. You can see that. And now if I wanted to, I could just add numbers to these facts like so. So let's delete this last line by right click and delete cells, entire row. There is my table. I'm going to make this a little bit thinner and now we've got this option to actually put a link in and that's going to be the subject of the next lesson thanks for watching please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos until next time goodbye